Alright guys, I uh, just want to bring you to this. Um, this is from uh, <coughs> Jam Noise 72. Um, she did a, a, a request basically, a Freedom of Information request, uh, FRI uh, request, basically uh, to find out the uh, details of people admitted to uh, a, a certain trust in uh, London, um, in the London area. Um, and basically um, she wanted to know uh, how many people were admitted uh, owing to respiratory problems between May and December. So uh, she was looking at people with having breathing problems um, <clears throat> between May and December 2012. So, um, and that was on the back, this was a recent one she did, and that was on the back of some others that she did, and I, I missed these others. Um, and basically, as you know, I've done a, a uh, sort of a series of articles about lead in the uh, atmosphere um, uh, we had too much lead in our water in September and October 2011 um, uh, but that was because of all the particulates in the air uh, that were settling and uh, you know being uh, taken in by the water and being uptaken by plants and uh, indeed we've uh, in 2012 we get reports of lead uh, found uh, excess levels of lead found in uh, sort of bird wildlife uh, and they, they were surprised that, of that because all the lead that's been taken out of manufacturing and what have you, uh, paints, petrol, all that, we, we don't have that in the UK. So what we're left with is um, we know that 60% of Europe's ele um, uh, electricity produces the, uh, sorry, uh, lit in, in the Europe, uh, basically the, uh, you know, 60% of lead pollution comes from electricity. All right, and that's that's findings from the European uh, findings, and I I think that most of that is basically from uh, what we would say is uh, uh, nuclear processes, and um, <clears throat> there's a lot of evidence to say that specifically Sellafield and uh, La Hague nuclear processing uh, is very dirty, very nasty, leaves a lead legacy uh, which eventually turns into polonium 210 and all sorts of nasty isotopes and uh, with various types of toxicity some are killers basically and some are slow killers some are quick killers um, anyway so look there we go that's that and and uh, what I want to do very quickly so I'm not going to talk too much with this so it's uh, just let you see a little bit of the evidence January 08 22 all right that's per month, down to 15. Yeah, we've got 20 going through. We've got 66 in June 09. And, uh, you know, this is when uh, a huge amount of funding starts going into the nuclear industry and they're doing contracts for fuel and building reactors and God knows what else and, and uh, uh, reprocessing fuel and waste and God knows what. So uh, as time goes on, the contracts are getting bigger, more money. Uh, and I'd just like to bring you, I suppose, to March. So that's going to be of interest to people with the Fukushima issue. Uh, so it's going along in March. And in March it goes from a, kind of a, a 60. Because I think there was... A, I, was that the Chernobyl fire? 2010? Oh, I don't know, anyway. But it shoots up 30% in March 2011. And it doesn't get down to 60 until April 2012 when we had that bit of a clear patch April and May just before Pegasus the uh, the slightly biased monitoring system and just to finish you off uh, May June and July was when Pegasus did their air calculations uh, August was nice and clean, started picking up in September, nuclear processes going again, little accidents, this, that and the other. November, December, well, we'll have to dig up the links and find out why that was. But, uh, you know, basically it's, um, I have to worry about these stats. These new stats she's got, okay, could be manipulated, right? There could be a reason, because like, you know, a lot of people left London during the Olympics to start off with, you know, like they got the hell out. So anyway, but um, it's interesting to see what what's going on there. And uh, I will just say that, uh, you know, 
it's gone right back up November 130. So a bit of research required just to tie on those little peaks, you know, just to see, you know. But the main ones we've got is the is, is Hungary, Budapest Institute, you know, the Budapest, the Budapest Isotope Institute in Hungary, it let off a load of stuff and, and that's the result. You know, and that's the chronic cases. You can imagine people with asthma who, who struggled away at home and so on and so on. And uh, we may know people that have uh, passed away through respiratory illness during those periods as well. And uh, maybe we can see why now. And just to take you back just to uh, 2008, before MOX. We don't like MOX. And that's amazing, amazing evidence there. And uh, and the great thing is, if you don't believe, you don't just say, oh, I don't believe that. Just put a local uh, FOI asking the same question. Ask about hyperthyroidism. You know. Uh, also, uh, she's done stuff. Uh, I'm waiting for hopefully get the information on the uh, miscarriages as well. See if they tie up. But um, ionising radiation and fetuses doesn't go well, unfortunately. But, you know, we didn't get to hit as bad, but, you know, in America, they got hit quite bad. They got hit 10 times as bad. So that March 30% increase in respiratory illness, that, that must have happened in America. Because that was Fukushima. You know, and uh, Hungary wasn't until July. Well, it was doing it all June, July, a little bit, August. And then September, it let rip. Uh, and then I think October and November, yeah, that was just uh, just manky. And the first clean wa water report from uh, the American US Air Base that I documented uh, that was in November, but that was out in the sticks, and it was a water, so it was the lead had, the lead levels had dropped by then, and we see that in December, January, March, well December, January, and February, where we get a lower reading, and then of course March 2012 was the worst pollution incidents for six years and so I'm just a little bit you know what I said uh, that I think these are a bit low but then it's highly possible that there's other reasons why they have low stats for the, that period of time apart from the fact that it might be manipulated if she's done two before they know about it they're going to put the numbers down aren't they maybe that November 2012 is uh, spread out a little bit higher but uh, because they know that people like us will be doing this sort of research. Hmm, hard to say. People left for Olympics, this, that. We had the worst pollution incidents. I was documenting it and using Geiger counters to read it. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, someone might be, might be telling porkies there.